the outer skin of the world's biggest airliner, the Airbus A380, must be super light and super strong. So the designers borrowed an idea from the 12th century Mongol bow, combining two different materials to make a composite. In the A380, the first material is lightweight aluminium. But the second material must be incredibly strong to withstand high-speed impacts. Ooh, look at that. So materials engineer Paul Hogg is about to show me a very special form of glass. So I just put that in there, yeah? Yeah, put it, put it in the flame, sort of so move it back towards the point of the flame. Keep, keep rotating it to, to, to distribute the heat. Glass becomes a liquid at around 2700 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll feel it begin to go soft and a bit sort of floppy. Let's go and bendy. Let's go now. OK. Wow, wow, we're still connected. Look at that. We are still connected. You may not be able to see it, but we are still connected by glass. That's a... Here we go. This is just glass. It's just glass. So this is pure, ordinary glass that we've just coiled up again. Why is this doing this? It's thinner and therefore more flexible, but it hasn't got the defects and cracks on the surface, which is why you can coil it quite nicely without it snapping. This is a glass fibre, and it's very different to ordinary glass. With no cracks, it's incredibly strong. It's about six to ten times the strength of steel. If this was steel wire or something, this is... This would carry about six to ten times as much weight as the steel wire would. I'm mesmerised by this stuff. These glass fibres can be woven like textiles to produce sheets of material. The next stage is to add liquid resin. When it dries, it sticks the fibres together to create glass in its strongest form. Fiberglass. Let's see if this window can be smashed. A hammer. Uh, so I'll just hit it. That would have done the glass, wouldn't it? I think it would have done. Try it. Don't be shy. Give it a, give it a good welling. Glass fibres provide the strength. The individual fibres might break, but the cracks can't spread from one to another. It's quite surprisingly tough, isn't it? It is. And fibreglass is even tougher when combined in a composite with aluminium. It's called glass-reinforced aluminium, or glare for short. The two materials are sandwiched together in layers. The aluminium provides stiffness, like the buffalo horn in the Mongol bow. Fiberglass is like the sinew in the Mongol bow. It provides the strength that aluminium lacks. 